Welcome to the Akron Cooperative Medical Laboratory Science Program's video series for blood bank. Now we're going to talk about how to use the hematype segment, segment piercing device, which is the blue thing that's sitting on top of the tubes in the rack. So we use this device to pierce the segments from Red Cross donor units, and that is what the unit numbers look like. It's a very long number, but you have to write the entire thing in order for FTA to be happy. So when donor units are collected, they have tubing, obviously, that comes from the needle that's in your arm into the unit bag, and then they strip it so that um, that allows the blood to go into the donor unit and come back out into the tubing, and now it's anticoagulated. And then they heat seal sections so that we can then take it off of the unit and use it for testing and we are required to keep segments for potential testing after we have transfused in case there is a discrepancy or if um, we need to do some type of other follow-up. So just a regular tube out of our tube stash, nice segment device. It has a blunt needle on this end so you can't get hurt and it has a sharp needle inside there. But is designed so that adult fingers can't get in there. And lots of people have tried, including me right now, so you can't get hurt with these. Now if it's a baby, that's a different story. But what you need to do is label the tube with the unit number that you're going to put in it. And depending on where you work, there's different ways that they want this abbreviated, but the best way to do it is either the last three or four numbers of the unit number on here unless it's similar in this case it's not but if they're similar then you need to keep going until you get a unique number use more digits out of it so here we'll just go seven two four zero and we'll write cells so that we know that that's cells directly from it and same thing for this this will be 7801 cells. And then we're going to take one of the segments. You can twist it if you're behind a shield. There have been times when these bust loose and spray, so if you're behind a shield, you just grasp it and twist it and it comes apart and then you want to make sure that you've got um, the blood ideally will be the red cells will go all the way to one end and then you set the device on top of the tube you put the end down in and you squeeze and then you put this in the sharps container and then you have nice packed red cells in your tube which you can use to either make three percent three to five percent concentrations of cell suspension for cross matching or you can make 0.8 percent if you want to do a full cross match in gel and again same thing you pop it on there, take a segment, if you're behind a shield you can twist, otherwise use scissors, and then you pop it in there, and now you've got plenty of blood in the bottom to do with what you need. And that's how you use the hematype segment device. 